hello you're welcome back all right so we'll continue from where we we'll stop okay we've already treated um connection of resistors in series and in parallel and of course and the, uh, their equivalent resistance okay so now in this video we are going to be looking at some questions example questions okay and i told you that uh, in examination they won't just give you simple series circuit or even a simple parallel circuit okay uh, in exam you might be given a complex circuit which is made up of series and parallel connections so it's just for you to actually uh, locate the series or the parallel connection in the in a particular network now look at the question we have here it goes this way is uh, evaluate the equivalent resistance of the flowing networks okay so i have this network so here i'm evaluating the the equivalent resistance which of course is the total resistance okay in this network and that's the total resistance between point a and b but A and B is actually the terminal, okay, of all this resistance. So that simply means that if I am asked to find the equivalent resistance of all these resist resistors, I'm actually uh, looking for just one single resistor that will have the same effect, okay, that will have the same value with all this resistor. How do I do that? Okay, so first you need to locate your parallel connection, and of course you need to also locate your series connection. And I told you how to locate your parallel series connection. I told you your parallel connection has nothing to do with uh, the alignment of the resistors, okay? It has everything to do with their connection. And the only way you will know, okay, a parallel series con connection is to uh, is to look at how the flow of the current okay for series connection there's no branch you know that already current flows without a branching but for parallel connection there's a branch so now let's see how it goes let's say current is moving from a as it enters into this particular network it actually branches so i'm solving a part of the question now all right so as you enter into this particular network it branches it branches into two ohms and into another two ohms so these two ohms of the first network okay of the first circuit is in parallel then it gets it gets it goes again then there's another branch two ohm two ohm so we have three two ohms in parallel now, when you resolve this thread 2 ohm, you have a single resistor. When you resolve all these 2 ohm, you have a single resistor. And all these parallel connections, after they are being resolved, they are in series. So that is just how we do that, okay? So now, invariably, now let me call the the 3 parallel uh, network. Okay, let me call the first one, R1. Call this the, the second one, the equivalent of the second one, R2. And call the third one R3 okay so both R1 and R2 if they are being resolved they are in series so I need to resolve them one after the other so let me start let me resolve R1 first now of course you remember when we are to resolve parallel connection of resistor we do one all over R total equal to one all over R1 okay plus one over R2 but in the case I'm gonna give you a shortcut for you okay for uh resolving the equivalent resistance resist resistance of two resistors in parallel just two so if you have two of them in parallel okay you can just use this shortcut to resolve the equivalent which of course is product of the resistors you do the product of the resistance then all over the sum of the resistance of the two resistors so in the very first uh network there i have the product of uh, the two resistors there are two ohms two ohms 2 2 ohms resistor that 2 times 2 then divided by 2 plus 2 so that's going to be equal to 4 all over 2 right 4 all over 4 please pardon me which of course is 1 ohm okay if i still resolve r2 that's still, still going to be the same thing 2 times 2 divided by 2 plus 2 which is still going to be 1 ohm okay uh if i resolve r3 it's still going to be the same thing because it's still the same amount of resistor have 1 ohm okay so that means if i should redraw the circuit now i will have r1 okay which of course is 1 ohm in series with r2 1 ohm after they have been resolved and in six series with r3 1 ohm all right so their total resistance now our total of the entire network now is going to be equal to one R1 plus R2, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which of course is what? 3 ohm. So that complex circuit now, this complex uh, resistor circuit has been reduced to just one resistor, which is the equivalent resistance, that is 3 ohm. So that is A part of the question. Then B, let's look at the B part of the question. 
okay now how do we do this okay look at the B as you can see here that's a branch first that's a branch here if I go if my current goes through this one okay resistor then it will branches so I think to branch it will enter into two branch and into these two branches it will enter there are two resistors okay in series so that means in this first branch and this in this second branch I have two resistors all right all in series two ohm two ohm in series two ohm two ohm in series okay so now let me use okay r1 to represent the force the sum of the resistance of the force uh, branch okay that's two ohm plus two ohm r1 plus r2 then series okay that's four ohm then i use r2 to represent uh, the resistor okay of uh, the second branch which of course is still going to be two ohm plus two ohm okay uh that's still gonna be four ohm so from what we have have here these two branches are in parallel right so i have to get the the equivalent resistor so four ohm four ohm is in parallel so i will use r okay let me use i'm using r2 now so i use r thread to actually evaluate that okay so our trend now is gonna be equal to remember product all over sum, okay? Um, that's gonna be four times four divided by four plus four. Four times four is sixteen. Four plus four is eight. Then you now have two ohm. All right. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 plus 4 is 8. I have uh, 2 ohm. So 2 ohm is the resultant of all this, this network, these two branches. So I can use one resistor to represent that, okay? So I wrote, uh, that's R3, which is 2 ohm. Now it's connected this, this entire okay two branch or this network is connected in series with one ohm one, one ohm resistor to the right and one ohm resistor to the left okay so possibly i'll call that i'll call this one um r okay this one's already r3 okay call this one r4 so possibly call this one r2 just I just want to illustrate okay so here i have one ohm then one ohm so let me call this r okay well whatever you call it the important thing is that everything now is in series okay so invariably now the total resistance is going to be equal to one plus two plus one which of course is going to be equal to four ohm so i hope that is well understood okay so it's just for you to uh, locate the series or the parallel connection and you resolve it break it down to you you resolve the entire resistors okay so i hope that is well understood i'm going to give another um example right now this time around i'm going to give an example that will require us to to find the current to find circuit current okay all right
Okay, so two ohm. I don't know why I like two ohm so much. Two ohm, then of course uh, one ohm. Now let's say the circuit current that we have here is six volts. The the voltage, please pardon me, not the current. Okay. So now the question is uh, in the network above, what is the current passing through the one ohm resistor? What is the current passing through the one ohm resistor? So as you know very well, as you, if you connect this circuit, current will flow. It will flow through this one, one ohm resistor, and of course that same total current that is flowing through one ohm resistor will, end, will divide and uh, enter into uh, the two branch. Okay. 2 ohm resistor and this 2 ohm resistor. So what is this total current? How will I get that total current? Simple. For me to get the total current, I will definitely have to apply Ohm's law. Remember, Ohm's law states that V is equal to IR, right? So invariably now, the current is going to be equal to V all over R. So since this current is actually the total current, the current that is coming from the source, that will be the total current of the, okay, the uh, maximum or total current of the network. And for me to get the total current, I will, the resistance I'm going to, okay, this resistance is going to be the equivalent resistance of the circuit, all right? So the question is, how do I get the equivalent resistance of the circuit? Simple and short. All right, uh, these two ohm, two ohm are in parallel. Now they are now in series. Okay, it's only in this two ohm, two ohm that I have a branch. That's we are current branch, so they are parallel. Now if I resolve it, okay, it's in series, connected with a stretch wire with this one ohm resistor. So if that being the case now, I can resolve this now to be, okay, total resistance that's going to be equal to, of course, uh, the branch connection. That's 2 times 2, all over 2 plus 2. Then plus, um, it's now in series with this 1 ohm resistor. Okay? So if I should do this, 2 times 2 all over 2 plus 2, that will give me 1. That's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2 ohm. So I cannot get my uh, current, circuit current. So what exactly is going to be my circuit current? So my circuit current now, which what I have is going to be equal to the, the voltage, okay? So what is my voltage? My voltage is 6 volt. My voltage is 6 volt. And um, my total resistance is 2 ohm. So we can now resolve, okay? Uh, pardon me, let me just take care of something before I now return to what we are doing. Okay, so here we go. Simple. That's going to be 6 divided by 2. So my current is going to be 3 ampere. As simple as that okay so that's it this is how there's still gonna be a lot of questions we we'll have to solve okay under this um, resistors uh, connection of resistors in series and in parallel but this is just the foundation and of course if you understand how to be able to uh, locate series and parallel connection no matter how complex the network is you'll be able to resolve it okay so we are going to be looking at um other complex network which okay that we cannot resolve by just applying series parallel connection and that is where we're now going to be looking at some network laws okay or circuit theorems which one of them we are going to be talking about is catch up law catch up law will help us resolve some circuit that cannot really be reduced into parallel or even series connection, all right? So I will do that in the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.